Not the kind of image I'm gonna start this stream with, but uh, hmm. what else I have on the desktop that can fix this? <laughs> I don't have my desktop is like clean. You know what? This one is a very nice one. So we're gonna play a game called Home Safety Hotline. Oh my goodness! Fear of spiders? Fear of spiders? Uh oh! What? Watch out for that! Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder role. Uh, your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today. <laughs> and we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. I know it's Regina, I know. I'm making a joke. Ever yeah, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. As a judge as house fires, metamorphosis. <laughs> Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Monday. So this is what living in Ireland is really is like. <laughs> Excuse you. Uh. John here. My <laughs> wife insisted I call. <laughs> I have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps me <laughs> here. Or something in the kitchen. Uh -huh. looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell I don't know. So he talks like Chad Warden. <laughs> Kiss of war? More like tears of war. The wee? Looks like a deal though. Bed bugs. Okay, here we go. Info okay. Good, good. You're getting fired. So what? What? Did you complain? Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought okay. I'd call just in case. Uh -huh. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... That's, that's a gnome. The common, you know, common problem. Don't worry about it. It could just be regular old house noises, but... I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. <laughs> gopher. <laughs> it's always gopher, man. It's gotta be. It, it, it's gotta be El Rato. It's gotta be El El Gordo Rato. All right, El Raton. Oh well, good job. Hey, I'm killing this so far, man. Come on, <laughs> come on. Who is it? Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. Uh huh. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. <laughs> I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Okay, um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow <laughs> the shit miser strikes again. <laughs> so I said, that's just Joel's American impression. <laughs> I am shit sing. <laughs> dookie, I'm a shoot dookie, dookie. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, bees. <laughs> There's a bunch of bee shit in my heart. <laughs> the bees keep shitting. So that's called a honey. Can cause progressive ne neurological damage to humans or eventual death. <laughs> how much, <laughs> how much raccoon feces have you been eating, Joel? I don't know a lot. He says it's quote unquote shit piles, but what he's actually talking about is the the burrows. You know this. He's confusing dirt with with dookie. Okay, it was different. No fikis, only only grass and like you know. So I, I think it's 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 mole here actually. Sorry, it's bees. <laughs> okay. Hey, right, John again. I again. I got beef with you. Your people <laughs> gave me bad info. No, it was so bees. You sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bothered, Colin. Oh, damn. 
I thought it was gonna come over and smash my kneecaps in, but it, all they did was just, you know, get 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 uh, pissed off. Okay. And if about it's Johnny. What the fuck? Uh, Twig segment here. Just calling to inform you that uh, <laughs> your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 minutes. <laughs> Twig Sigmund. Over and catch it, big fella. Mm. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. It's like a rainforest over here. Okay. complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress, this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Okay. But this is not our issue. <laughs> what? But who, who, who am I sending? <laughs> it is. The bees did it. I mean... Do you guys have a lawn mower service or something? My good for nothing kid most of law. Okay, he's getting real crazy out there. Well, yeah, I guess, you know, whatever whatever would fuck up your gra lawn, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> ticks. <laughs> Goats. <laughs> I don't know why. Wasn't there, <laughs> wasn't there an episode of Cow and Chicken where, like, the devil had a bunch of grass in his yard, and they had to, like, mow it. Do you remember that? Send in a bee. <laughs> Small arachnids are known to humans feed on animal blood, and most are commonly found in tall grass. It's ticks. It's ticks. It has to be ticks, because they made him sick. Or bees. Don't you get, like, Lyme disease from, from ticks or something like that? Oh, your shift descended. 75% not bad not bad you have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today please call cop below all right get that moolah get that spondooly <clears throat> quit before okay we got a chat member coming in here quit before the story you don't know me but you don't have your job i don't you don't need that you quit today before to wait i don't know if you don't you don't need to quit or trust me okay mods can you get that guy he's <laughs> He's got mouth disease. <laughs> you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. All right, all right. Okay. And not to be shared with anyone outside mm. of HSH. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a, uh, calling to see if you what? might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to, uh, Prevent pollen from coming in the house. Uh huh. I think there's something close the window. wrong with my ventilation or something because mm. I cannot stop sneezing. Bad teeth? What? Huh? Bad teeth are a kind of a kind of rare household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the other side of bed sheets, blankets, or comfort. What? <laughs> wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should have had a bigger font. I'm playing in a tiny window. I read that as an A. Like, f far across, I'm like, bad teeth? <laughs> hey, I'm dying. You got the bad teeth. <laughs> Vinny did it too. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> Bad teeth. Okay, this is still freaking me out. What the fuck is this, man? I've never heard of this ever. Is this some sort of like SCP esque like super spooky fiction? Well, what is this? This this doesn't make any sense. What, what are you talking about? Cellar growth are a large piece of a fungi that are known to grow in dark, damp environments. As cellars, homeowners invested with cellar growth. Some <laughs> common report a slimy residue. The sound of ripping or stretching. A strange glow coming from their cellar. I need to listen how they say it. That's just, that's just, that's just, that's just looking for beans at 3 a.m. in the cellar. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That is straight up duende. Sound the fucking alarm. What is this? Hobbs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked over, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. <laughs> Hobbs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Ho instead, one should take measurements to prevent provoking metamor dark metamorphosis by leaving a bowl of, of cream or milk. <laughs> I don't know what that is? 
<laughs> that just what you do, Santa? What the fuck is this? Let me hear him. No, 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 no. I'll play you it. Desk hobs, desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhibit desks. Okay. <laughs> English lesson for Joey. False beets are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. A swallow false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. <laughs> And they say to eat your veggies. Mama Dada tell you to eat, eat the greens? Well, show them this. Boom. This shit is straight out coward. Yeah, somebody mentioned it. She had courage to coward the dog. Oh, this is radical Larry. You might actually work in one of these places and you get this email and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> very, very secret, confidential. Well, it is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. I'm going to tell you something real fucked up. My sink always drips. And the other day, I was determined to get this fucking sink to stop gripping. So what I did, I put on gloves and I went and I did the most like strong man shit ever. And I just cranked it like I was cracking a man's head off. I put him in a vice grip and it's just... And after I did that, I took a like a wrench on the, uh, the sink knob and further did it. And it still fucking drips. You tell the story like every month. <laughs> If I turn up the volume, you can probably hear from the bathroom. It's always blip, 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 blip. You know, you probably fractured the pipe. <laughs> yeah. House fires can cause severe damage to a human skin, <laughs> such as burns and even it result in death. Ooh. It can also produce carbon monoxide, which is deadly to humans. As such, it's removal from a house home. This, this isn't something you tell the, the fire. Go, shoo, go away. <laughs> what the fuck? To remove a house fire from a home, ask it kindly. Pop grows on top of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp tube-like structures such as pipes. To remove a pipe grow from its home, it must be offered a replacement. Any common PVC pipe will suffice. One should garnish the inside of the replacement home with an assortment of meat juices and insects. <laughs> Place the replacement home near one of the pipes if opening and leave it overnight. The following day, the pipe growth should be moved into a new home where it can be safely relocated away from the household meat juices. I had a horrifying moment. I was at I was at the computer, I was editing the voice of the void video, and I felt a tickle on my arm. And I'm 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 really fucked up in the morning. I, I can't like activate properly. I have to like get blasted by air and the sun to be like, oh I'm awake now. But I was like, this is some, 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 something going on in my arm. I'm like, mm, what's going on? Yeah. And there's a fucking little black spider going up my arm. And I didn't kill him. I did not kill him. I did not kill him because I have a long time invest, in, in investment into this whole thing. That, my friends, is an alliance. You see, I guarantee you when it's summertime or spring, there's going to be a infestation in my apartment of li little weird bugs crawling, like a maybe a little ladybug or something like that. And those fuckers probably have laid eggs in the foundation of the house. So I am letting the spider live here for free if he kills. So I, I just put him down and I let him scurry off. The problem is if that spider was pregnant, then I would have fucked myself. But I took a gamble. Who knows? Stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs. What the fuck are you talking about? We love stair slug. <laughs> that are commonly known for to occupy by stairwells and basements. Homeowners infested with stair slug commonly report a slimy residue on steps. Okay, what? What? Do, you do not need. You do not need the HSH thing. Just get the gun. Okay, stair slugs can be benef beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to a dangerous accident and slippage. <laughs> Should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with a thick barrier of salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly if the slug has dehydrated itself. You can dispose of its bot. Okay. First of all, this guy, this was just black mold. Uh huh. Uh -huh. When I go look at it, I find the place spotless. Is there something you can do? 
I sure can. I sure can. I sure can. I got a malhob here, right here, buddy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so which hob would this be? I I'm gonna say it's the common hob. You know, to assume dust. Yeah, this has got to be the the common hob. Okay, cool. You chose carbon monoxide. No, I didn't. It was bees. It was not fucking bees. <laughs> Joey face reveal. Uh-huh. So the town with no name priest. I heard something crawling in the walls. I think I found house fire on my bedpost. House fire. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help house fire. Me, please. That's just beans. That's just carbon monoxide beans. I think it's just gonna be mice. I think it's gonna be mice. I know it's like a very common bullshit answer, but it's my best, best guess. Well, all right. Mice and rats are known to chew on furniture. Yeah, they're, they're also known to, uh, to, to chat in my chat, eating all my cheese. Apparently there's a compilation on YouTube when you fail one of these and they call you back and they're pissed off. <laughs> I'll break into your wall and I get your cheese. Fred. Yeah, hey, so uh huh. Like scratching or something. So okay. Real quiet. So mm -hmm. definitely some kind of pest in my walls. Uh huh. I sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, house I fire. One worked for a while. Then I house fire. Hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop mm. things or whatever. Please hold. <laughs> Go for Go for House fly. Watch me. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's raccoon. Do it. People are gonna be pissed off when I lose my job. There's a noise. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh no, the house is on fire. <laughs> okay. Oh, good lord. Good lord. <laughs> Psycho streamer spreads information. This <laughs> information. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, let's see the next one here. <clears throat> Do you guys handle security? I need a oh? security installed. Okay. Stop breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. House fire. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. Uh huh. I need your best home security equipment. Pronto. Okay. 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 Definitely carbon monoxide, guys. I know a carbon monoxide when I hear it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Desk friend. Okay, good job. This guy's gonna call me back. He's like, what the fuck? Oh! I wasn't even pissed off, okay. I thought I was gonna lose my job, but... House fire! House fire, everybody! Watch out! The deadly fire! Complete global lactation. Shit!